Greetings and salutations. Respect and love. I am Scott from the Fire Note. Today in the Prague Corner, we are going to pay homage to that great artist, Roger Dean. He is the artist in residence for progressive rock and has been for a very long time. Uh, his imagery is synonymous with Prague. And there's a good reason why. He is a genius. His artwork is absolutely amazing. I want to go through his career. He's done like over 200 album covers. Being a vinyl collector, man, how cool would that be to have every Roger Dean album cover? I, uh, I don't think I got the money for that. But I really would love to have every single one. Roger was born uh, August 31st, 1944. Uh, his artistic prowess became obvious from very early on. He went to art school. Uh, he was noticed by uh, some people in the industry. He did his first album cover in 1968, a debut album for a band called Gun. It's an amazing looking cover. Uh, after that, he went to work for... Uh, Vertigo for a little while and uh, did a few album covers. He did the first Earth and Fire album, uh, the first two Nucleus albums. He did both of those album covers uh, and uh, a band called Lighthouse, One Fine Morning. I've never heard this album, but look at that artwork. Amazing. Another album I'd never seen before, uh, Clear Blue Sky, 1970. Um, 1971 comes around. He does the Midnight Sun uh, debut album cover. His next is the debut album for Osibisa, uh, the Ghanaian uh, Afrobeat prog band. And apparently that album cover got him quite a bit of notice. Uh, from there, he says that he could pretty much do whatever he wanted to do. Um, he did something for a Sagai, an album called Zimbabwe. I've never even heard of it. Next up was Pato, Hold Your Fire. That album cover does not even look like Roger Dean. He obviously was still kind of finding his style. Uh, Rare Earth, uh, Atomic Rooster's first album, very cool album cover. But the big break came later on in 71, when uh, Phil Carson from Atlantic Records uh, sat down, talked to Roger Dean. He introduced them to the band Yes. And uh, Fragile was his first of many album covers for the band. Uh, and that really got him noticed throughout uh, the entire music world. Uh, he followed that up with uh, Billy Cox album, Nitro Function, another album I've never even seen before. Uh, in 1972, he does the sophomore album for Gracious. That's a great album. Then he did Close to the Edge, uh, Uriah Heep, Demons and Wizards, uh, another Lighthouse album, a band I've never heard of before, uh, Babe Ruth's First Bass, uh, Budgie. He did two, I think, for Budgie. This was the first one, Squawk, R.I.P. to Shelley Burke gone way too long and uh, 1972 he does the debut album for Midnight Sun uh, Third Eye Band's Macbeth which is a cool looking album cover and he does a second cover for Uriah Heep uh, The Magician's Birthday uh, one of my favorite Roger covers Paladin Charge this is another one I'd never seen before. He did a Motown's Greatest Hits album cover. <laughs> I want that on vinyl so bad. 1973, he does the first Green Slade album cover. He does Magna Carta, uh, Lord of the Ages. Yes Songs is next up, the triple album with all that amazing artwork. Uh, there's like six different paintings on there and they're all amazing. Uh, after Yes Songs, he does his second Budgie album cover. Uh, 73, he does uh, Tales from Topographic Oceans. He does the uh, Tony K. Badger, One Life Badger album. Uh, he does the second Green Slate album. Closes out 73. Uh, with a sleeve for a band called Snafu. In 1974, he does uh, Relayer. 
and Yesterdays for Yes, both great covers. 1976, he does a Dave Green Slade cover uh, for Cactus Choir. Mm, look at that. I love that album cover. Uh, John Lodge, Natural Avenue. Uh, second Sleep for Steve Howe, the Steve Howe album. Uh, in 1980, he does Two Sleeves for Yes. He does the Yes Songs cover. He does uh, Yes Shows, rather. Yes Shows. And then he also does uh, the classic Yes cover. Um, we get into the 80s, and he gets identified with a second band. Uh, Roger Dean and Steve Howe are good friends. So he went over to uh, Help Asia and that iconic uh, Asia artwork. Um, especially that first album, but he also did Astra, um, in 1985, uh, closed out the eighties doing Anderson, Bruford, Wakeman and Howe's sleeve in 91. He does the excellent union sleeve for yes. 94, uh, he does, uh, Asia Aria 97, uh, you've got keys to Ascension. Well, 96 was keys to Ascension one. Bam, 97, Keys to Ascension 2. As we get into, uh, well, he had a couple more things in 97 I want to talk about. Matthew Sweet. I did not know he did an album cover for Matthew Sweet. And he did another cover in 97 for a band called Space Needle. Never even seen this. Great looking cover. Uh, in the 21st century, uh, he's been busy with Asia. He's been busy with Yes!, He's also been associated with some of the more uh, modern uh, prog acts like White Willow, uh, The Flower Kings. Uh, who else? Who else did he do? I'm spacing out on somebody else. It's all good. Uh, he did Focus 10. He did Focus 11. But right now I'm going to go through my top 10 Roger Dean album covers. I've got it written down. You see him reading notes. It's all good. At number 10, I'm going to go with 1970s Dr. Strangely Strange and the album Heavy Petting. That's a cool album cover. At number nine, let's go with Ramsey's Space Hymns. I just dig that cover. I think it's really great. At number eight, let's go with OCB's second album, Whoa Ya Ya. At number seven, uh, from 1972, let's go with Gentle Giant Octopus. At number six, uh, I'm going with the debut album from Asia. At number five, Steve Howe Beginnings. At number four, I'm sticking with Gravy Train, Staircase to the Day. Something real spooky about that. I really, really like it. At number three, I am always going to... Uh, uh, Prime for Tales from Topographic Oceans. I love the artwork. I love the album. At number two, let's go with the first Green Slade album. Could have gone with uh, the second one or Cactus Choir. And at number one, my favorite Roger Dean album cover of all just has to be Uriah Heep, The Magician's Birthday. I love the cover. I love how bright and vibrant it is. It gives all kinds of emotion. And that's exactly what a good record sleeve should do. It should be an accompaniment to the music. It should keep you in the lane of whatever they're trying to do. A great artist like Roger Dean becomes friendly with the band, really wants to know what the band's all about and what the music's all about. Oftentimes uh, with Yes, he would listen to the album uh, before coming up with ideas uh, for the artwork. Um, the guy's a genius. Uh, there's no doubt about it. He is the face of Prague Sleeves. How many times have I picked up a Prague album cover thinking it's Roger Dean and it's just somebody ripping his style off? Let's not... Let's not talk about James Cameron ripping him off. Avatar was just one big giant Roger Dean ripoff from start to finish. He sued. He lost. Unfortunately, the court got it wrong. But Roger Dean, you are a hero. I am here to salute you. This is my tribute to your contribution to the prog world. You are the best. And that is my wrap up of Roger Dean, genius, the art of prog. I'm Scott from the Fire Note. 
Uh, this is just a real quickie. I'm going to put the album covers in. That'll take me a minute. But uh, anyway, please subscribe. Uh, we're at, uh, what, 234 subscribers. Woo yeah, we're getting there, buddy. We'll get there. All righty. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much.